Hello and welcome to Pokey Dippies, brought to you by Zamora Gaming. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and along with me, I have Morgan, Stewart, and David. Yo, yo. Stewart, What's up? go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Stuart. I live in good old New Zealand, right on the other side of the world, to most of you guys probably. Um, I don't do, I don't create content or anything, but I'm a proud member of TML, I have been for a long time. And uh, damn straight. Yeah, if you hit me up on uh, Facebook or Twitter, S J Mills one one. Away we go. All right, go ahead, Morgan. All right, my name is Morgan. Uh, I create content under the name Morgan Oko Gaming. That's M O R G A N O H K O. You can find me on any platform under that handle. Um, make sure you check out my YouTube channel specifically for tie-in videos to uh, these episodes. And uh, yeah, that's me, David. Right, I'm gonna head off, guys. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. <clears throat> You're not heading off. You're staying the whole episode. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. All right, David, go ahead and introduce All yourself, right. newbie. I'm David. I live in Ohio. My handle on Twitter and Twitch is GS Kamikaze. Um, I just started streaming. I haven't even actually made a stream yet on Twitch, but we're working on it. Um. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> All right, and I good. and I was supposed to announce my shit first, but I didn't. So, of course, I am Joe Zamora of Zamora Gaming, and I do podcast. Obviously, I, I <laughs> shit. I've been drinking a little bit. All right, here we I go. I make the podcast. <clears throat> I make the podcast. I do a the stream on Facebook. I do a kick of your dog. And I upload a a video on YouTube every now and then. Sorry if that's racist to anybody, but we are here. Wait, we are not queer. Be, why would that be racist? Because <laughs> you made it. I'm, <clears throat> I'm sorry if that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> you know the you know the liberal snowflakes these days. Time impersonating. Oh God, no, you're taking it into <laughs> the wrong direction, Joe. Don't I'm even just... start. <laughs> Don't even start. We're we're not political. No, Cut we're not. That out. Cut that out. <laughs> Anyways, we are here to talk about Pokemon, and the uh, Pokey Dippies support neither political party. We really don't. I'm independent. <laughs> All right, carry on. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I I stream on Facebook under Zamora Gaming. I have a Twitter, uh, gaming under slash Zamora, and I am on YouTube as Zamora Gaming. Maybe Zamora Gaming forty three, but all together. And, uh, yeah, that's it about me. Now we're going to talk about fucking Charizard over here. Charizard? Charizard. Why is it your favorite, and how much do you love it? It is my favorite, and I love it dearly. It is it is my my first starter ever. I'm a Gen 1-er. It is also my first starter, and I used when to sweep everything playing, with David? it. I started playing in red, buddy. I played on... The Game Boy Color. It was the purple one with the see-through case. Oh shit! Nice. But nice. you know what? My first starter was Squirtle, and I don't. I knew you were gonna it. say that. I knew you were gonna say that. At least it wasn't is Bulbasaur. Is that your favorite starter? No, Charizard is definitely my favorite Gen One starter. Nice. But that was th this is literally I started playing Pokemon before I could read. I played seven badges <laughs> into Red Vision without catching a Pokemon. Same. Whoa. Blastoise literally wrecked <laughs> everything by itself. I don't give a fuck. But, I, but nice. after that, so now, fun fact, Charizard is the first legit level 100 Pokemon I have ever had. Same. Well, on sentimental. Paper. Same. And honestly, uh, I used to play Pokemon so much uh, when I was like four. I had no idea how to play the fucking game. I just played with Charizard until he was like level 84. I got bored and restarted it all the way up till I was 7 and when I was 7 is when the first time I beat the Elite 4. Ooh. Like I you were 7. Yeah. 
Like, I never knew how to play the game. I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to play this game until I get bored. Restart. Pick Charizard again. And just keep going. Just fuck it. Damn, you played that game on hard mode. (laughs) Playing against Brock was hard with Charmander. Yeah, it was. It was hard. That shit was hard as a kid. I, I, I went back and played, like, on the virtual console, went back and played Red and Blue. And I was like, oh, my God, how did I beat this as a child without Google? Like, how the <laughs> fuck did I do this? Like, clearly I was a genius and way smarter than I am now. It, <laughs> it, that shit didn't work. Here's the thing. We actually uh, read now. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. <clears throat> but uh, somehow it's harder. I don't know. I had to Google shit that I didn't. Google didn't <laughs> exist then, so I don't know. You know why? Because ba- I think back when we were kids, it was just like, fuck it. Play the game and just as soon as you get as far as you can, restart. Like I did. Dude, I remember mm-hmm. being lost in again. caves for like weeks. Do you not remember? I would get lost in caves for weeks at a time. You know, <laughs> that's why this generation is weak. They've never been stuck in caves. They don't You're have right. caves. You're I, right. I played that game without Flash. I went through every cave in the pitch fucking dark. Same. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and Charizard could learn Flash. So it was like, what the fuck was I doing? Yeah. No Rest one, no peace. one, no one knew about backtracking in those in those days. Come on now. Yeah, the mm-hmm. the first time I ever binge played a video game, it was Pokemon Red version, on the drive from Ohio to Texas to go see my family. I played for twenty two hours straight. Fuck and yeah! I used, my, I used a little flashlight in the car. <laughs> <clears throat> You're smarter than me. I'd use the street lights. I'd be like, okay, I can play. Now I can't. Okay, I can play. Now I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, fucking night! It was just like okay. God. In the, I bet y'all got told the same thing I did. I tried to turn the light on in the car, and my dad'd be like, "That's illegal. You can't have the light on while I'm driving." My oh, parents 100%. said the same shit. <clears throat> the same All shit. The it's and not I, illegal. And I was 18 years old when I found out that was some bullshit. Yeah, lying asses. And now I wear glasses, so it's like, you know what? Y'all fucked my eyes up, because I could have been playing with light. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. But back to the topic of Charizard. Uh, Charizard is an amazing Pokemon. The moveset I'd have with them in-game was uh, Earthquake, Flamethrower, Slash, and Fly. Dude, I don't even remember. I definitely had Fly. And definitely had Slash. Not in I think red. we discussed this last time. I never did anything with any Pokemon that didn't directly do damage because yeah. I didn't understand status moves. Uh, I did the same thing. In red, uh, you couldn't have Fly. It's, yellow was the first game you could have Fly on Charizard. Oh, uh, really? <clears throat> yep. Wow. I don't even... Really? Really? Wow. So I wonder what I used for as my flying type back then. Wing attack. Or Pidgey. I mean, I'm talking about to fly around. I wonder what I had that I used to fly around with. Probably just caught a Pidgey. I used to find, like, I couldn't, like, finding, I remember, like, the fossils were, like, hard to get for me for some reason. I couldn't figure out how to get the fossils. You, you're probably right. It was probably Pidgey. Well, the fossils, you get automatically one, and then no one remembered Aerodactyl because you'd have to backtrack for it. Yeah, and I could never figure out how to get it. I just remember carrying that fossil around like, fuck, I don't, I can barely read. And Google isn't a thing yet, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> so what is y'all's favorite anime battle with Charizard? He, I mean, he's been in so many. What is y'all's favorite? Oh, man, for sure, uh, Pokemon Origins, where he fight. It's Ch- Mega Charizard X versus Mewtwo. Did you all watch that? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, that is like probably that's like top ten best anime fights ever across all animes. Uh, I got one that beats that one. What do you think? <clears throat> I think uh, Magmar versus Charizard in the original Kanto series is probably one, one of the too. best fucking Charizard fights ever. My favorite yeah. Charizard battle was uh, against Blaine. In the very first season, where they just used fire blast over and over again, <laughs> that was like the, that's what made me like Charizard because he was like, "Yeah, fuck you, I'm not listening." <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Uh, it, I, 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 
the when he let him go was the saddest thing ever. I was like, what are you doing? You're getting rid of your strongest fucking Pokemon. He just started listening to you. Yeah, that was dumb as shit. <clears throat> Didn't he give it to Claire? Is it, wasn't that what happened? Not no, Claire. Uh, he left it in Terrific Valley. Whoa, what was that? Oh, uh, he... I coughed. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to muffle it as hard as I could. I don't even remember. What did he do with Charizard? How did he leave it for... He left it at Terrific Valley because it wasn't the strongest Charizard, and he knew it wanted to be the strongest Charizard, so he knew he had to leave it there for it to become the strongest Charizard, and then it became the strongest Charizard. See, I don't even I, For some reason, <clears throat> I remember him leaving it with some blue-haired chick, and I don't even know what I'm thinking. Well, yeah, that. and she had Charla. She had the girl Charizard that, he, that Charizard fell in love with. Oh, okay, so that was a thing. <clears throat> yeah, it was a thing, but it wasn't Claire. Wow. He did battle Claire with Charizard because Charizard came to save the day. He didn't even have Charizard on his team, and he was like, oh, shit, Charizard's here. Time to battle. God. Yeah. That's a, they should make him bring back Charizard for, uh, I mean, have you all watched uh, Pokemon Adventures, the new anime? Yes. I've been God, watching it with my kid. I haven't caught up, though. Me yeah, neither. That'd be a stacked-ass team. Yeah, but I don't think they'll do it solely because I think they're doing another soft reboot. Yeah, it's a complete reboot. But I mean, well, they they still maintain like all the things he's done. Like they they that for the first time they acknowledge that he's like gone through and done all those things. Like he's got the Orange Island trophy. Like in the very first episode, you look at his shelf and he's got like all his medals and shit. From really, he got it all his accolades. Yeah, yeah, he's That's got badass. the Alola trophy up there and shit. So, I don't know. Which one are you talking about? Pokemon Journeys, the newest one, or oh, Pokemon Adventures, really, or whatever. The, uh, with Go, I never noticed that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't either. Yeah. I just, I don't, I never noticed the trophies. Yep, first <clears> episode's <throat> got all his uh, like achievements from the past in it. But uh, I think uh, the first time they rebooted was black and white, and that's when they brought Charizard in because uh, what's your name had. Uh, Dragonite, who didn't listen to her. Oh yeah, what was her name? Who are we? What was her Iris. name? Iris. Yeah, that was it. If I had to pick a second battle that I liked, it would be him versus Inte, but it sucked because he lost to Inte. Which time? Uh, there's <clears throat> there's several different. Uh, Is Inte. that in Pokemon Two Thousand? Yeah, third no, 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 uh, the the Pokemon the third movie. Oh, I got yeah, 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 yeah. In two thousand, he had not a big role, which I thought was stupid. Uh, the first movie though is probably the best Pokemon movie they've ever made. Oh, fuck yeah! Did you all watch the 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 uh com the CGI <clears throat> one that they remade on the, Netflix? I didn't like it. I did. Dude, it was beautiful. I didn't like it. It was, it was beautiful. beautiful. It was bad. The claymation is so sweet, dude. It's like it was exactly the fuck. same. It was exactly. It was the same. not. They didn't keep the same wording. They didn't keep a lot of the same things. I didn't like it. Oh, dude, I loved it. It was. I thought it was exact. It was <clears> almost <throat> word for word exactly the same. Not even close. Oh, uh, you're so no, crap. Joe's tripping. Joe's tripping. Nah, I'm yeah, sorry, it was... but it wasn't the same. I tried. I really tried. I was really trying. But it just, it didn't go for me, my, dog. I actually uh, watched the very first original movie with my fiance, and then we watched the new one after, and she said she didn't like it as much either. But exactly. I, really, I loved it. I mean, everybody's <clears throat> got opinions, but it, it, you're allowed to be wrong. It, it lost a little bit. And um, honestly, I would have liked it if they would have added the story that they deleted from the original movie into the new movie. It would have made it. So much better, but they didn't. Which story? <clears throat> the Mewtwo story. The Mewtwo backstory. Do y'all know now? Do you not know about that backstory? What, what like the busting open from the tank and shit? Before that. Like the the pyramid stuff? The like where they you? find him in the woods? No, 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 no. This was in between that. This is a deleted scene that's not on the movie. It's basically um, Mewtwo's there talking while he's in the thing as a as a child. When he's like first being developed, so he looks like a like a baby form of Mewtwo, and you know the backstory behind why they made clones is because uh, 
Dr. Fuji wanted to make a clone of his daughter because his daughter died. <clears throat> wow, I actually didn't know any of that. So No, I didn't either. Yeah, so basically the backstory is every time they'd clone something, they'd have Mewtwo, uh, the daughter, Charizard, uh, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and <clears throat> every time the clones would fail, except for Char, uh, except for Mewtwo, so every time they would disappear, he would get sad, and they would make him forget what happened. So whenever he became full grown, he didn't understand what was going on. That's why he got pissed off, and that's why the movie plays out the way it does. So if they would add that to the reboot that they did on Netflix. I would have liked it a lot better, but Damn, they did it. You're right. I didn't know that even existed. I'm looking it up right now, and it, it does. That is the thing. Dude, that that backstory, if they would have added that to the original movie, dude, people would have cried way more than they did when Nash died. It's because it's a in, in <clears throat> Japan, there's cultural differences between here and Japan. Like, some things in Japan are more normalized than they are here. So, like, kids here can't handle shit like that. But I, in Japan, it's like whatever. So I understand that, but they should have... You know, even when they released the DVD, they didn't have that option. You know? Yeah. They should yeah. have had that option with the full release of the DVD, and they didn't. And that's where they fucked it, up. It for, at least adds for more me. emotional stakes to it. No, I definitely, I mean, that would definitely add more, like, emotion to everything. There's higher stakes in that. That, that kind of reminds me of the, uh, the, the Detective Pikachu new movie, though. A yeah. little bit. Yeah, but, I mean it's, it's a different concept, but it's it's more emotionally evolved like that. Yeah, or involved. And honestly, yeah. um, in the new, the new movie for, the Pokemon movie that was on Netflix, they toned down Brock big time. I guess for PC purposes. Oh uh, yeah. And you know it just wasn't the same. It was just like they yeah. changed it. So I don't know. He wasn't mega horny. <laughs> He was just kind of, he was kind of horny. All of us kids from the 1990s are mega horny because of that man, and we know it. Yeah. Brock made us obsessed. Yeah, 100% Brock's fault. But, um, Charizard over the years has developed as a great Pokemon. Um, I do like how throughout the years they gave him, you know, better stuff like uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green. They gave him Metal Claw, so, you know, Brock's gym wouldn't be so hard. And uh, Gen 2, they gave him Dragon Rage at level 16. So, you know, things like that. That's what makes, uh, I don't know, Charizard to me is one of the best Pokemon ever. They do keep reviving him. He's, In my opinion, he's like the secondary mascot. Oh, he is. Pikachu. He's definitely <clears throat> one of the most iconic, for sure. Yeah, I mean... Charizard, literally, I actually had the original, like, first edition shiny Shadowless Charizard card that everyone wants now. Yeah. I used to have it. And a funny story, I threw it out the bus window in first grade. What the fuck? Oh, God. Why'd you do that? I would still have all my cards if my mom didn't make me give them away. Uh, well, you know, so my dad had it literally in like a, the uh the hard plastic case and everything to get graded and it was put in a a glass case in my living room and it, i just was always looking at it i was never allowed to touch it and one day i was home like i wonder and why no one was in the room i took it <laughs> late at night and i threw it out the bus window because of that i, <laughs> I, I wonder why you weren't allowed saying. to touch it Horrible son. I was. I, I would have disowned you, honestly. You could have been dude, the president of the not United States or something. Like you could have been really successful if you'd kept that card. But you chose to be the guy with Mega DeAncey. Yeah, but you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the DeAncey that uh wait oh yeah we can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but did y'all know uh Charizard's Japanese name is Lizardon? Yeah, I did know Lizardon? that. Yeah, it tripped me out when I first learned it. And he still isn't a dragon. You that's the thing though. Uh honestly I thought I think they were gonna make him a dragon, but due to Gen One, they didn't want to make him overpowered over the first two starters. 
Yeah, he would have been more centralized even more if they did that. But We've I never had know, it. Blastoise was so good, though, dude. Like the, like the Aurora Beam and the Ice Beam animation in Gen 1. Oh, those were fucking made. amazing. It's like my favorite fucking thing. And Bubble Beam, when you get it from beating Misty, that was my favorite move throughout that game. It was certainly pretty to look at. I literally <laughs> had Bubble Beam on a level like 80-something Blastoise because it was just so sweet. <laughs> it was. But, you know, I'm so glad that uh, Nintendo and Game Freak fixed the issue with Charizard not being a dragon by making him a dragon with the X Mega Evolution. I'm glad they gave him a split evolution. I get it's only because he's one of the favorites, but I'm glad they did it for him. Because it made so much sense. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, they find a way to revive him like every generation now. They give him a new form to like keep him relevant. So You know they also gave him a 10 plus defense and 10 plus special defense in Gen 8? No, I didn't know that. <clears throat> because uh, he, was in, he was too frail, so they gave him a little bit more bulk. Hmm. Yeah, they make little buffs and nerfs <clears throat> like that, like almost every gen. It's pretty cool. But it's like you don't catch it because they don't really say anything about it. You have to like look it up and be all detail-oriented and shit. Yeah, you have to notice it <clears throat> for it yeah. to be relevant. You gotta be in the meta game. Charizard's still not in the meta right now, but that's mostly because of Legends and stuff like that. Still yeah. a pretty neat pick, I would say. I'm not yeah, too big of a fan of Legends. And then uh, it's also because uh, Smogon doesn't do Dynamax, which is stupid because it's part of the game. They got rid of the whole game mechanic just because they didn't like it. Yeah, it's just like a Mega or a Z move. They suck, but, well, a Z move sucks. I don't like Z moves, but I think Dynamax is 50,000 times better than Z moves and Megas. It's better I'm or it works better? I like some of the Megas, but I'm, I mean, it just makes it so that you know exactly what you're fighting, like, when you, you know what I mean? Like, you can see a team, and you're like, well, that's going to be a Mega. That sucks, yeah. because... <laughs> Except for those people who use, like, every Mega option, and then you're like, which one's Mega? Fuck. I don't know which one to go against. Well, you know, that's true. But I feel like that also kind of hinders you because if you use all the Megas, only one of them is going to be overpoweredly strong. The rest of them are getting Megas because they're not as strong or up to the same power creep as well, th the rest of them. That's also the thing, though. They they did have an issue with uh, the Megas because they weren't just giving uh, the power creep to Pokemon that needed it. They gave it to fan favorites, too, like Metagross, Charizard. And that's why... Garchomp, yes. Then that's why they're like, <clears throat> they shouldn't have gave Megas to those kind of Pokemon. But it's like, I don't really give a shit. Give every Pokemon a Mega. Uh, dude, honestly, I mean, that would be really sweet. If they did it for everyone, I'd probably like it a lot more. Like, if Lapras had a Mega, dude, that'd be fucking awesome. Oh, dude. There's so many that would be so good with a Mega. Like Flygon, I want Flygon to have a mega. That would be, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, they, I feel like he they wasted potential with that because it's such a cool design. You know, hold on, there's the story behind that. They were gonna give him a mega, but they couldn't come up with the design for it, so they just didn't give him one. Oh, it could have been so cool. They fucked up. They could have done anything with it, and we would have been okay with it. But they thought, oh, you know, we can't fit, think of a good enough design, so we're just not gonna give him one. They're like, uh, let's do, let's make Ultra Beast, but not a, not a Mega Flygon. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much, dude. And Ultra Beast look fucking retarded. The only one I hey like now. is Zerkatree. Hey, now, okay, all right, well, you know what, Zerkatree is probably the best one. But Cartana, though, you, you don't like Cartana? I like Cartana. I don't hate it. Mega Adele is a cool design, too, and so is, uh, I like, uh, Guzzlord. I don't like uh, Guzzlord. Really, the only ones that I just don't like are uh, Pheromosa and uh, Buzzwolf. I don't care for Blacephalon. So I understand. Man, they're, good. they're good mons. They're just, I don't care for their designs. Man, we always go way off topic. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we do, we do. <laughs> I was going to say, because like, Guzzlord has such a cool design, but it just sucks. They, they should have made it yeah. so much better. They made it yeah. too, way too slow and way too frail. It's got that HP stat, though. 
It has HP, but it has no defenses. That's the stupid part. If they're going to make it a Pokemon, they should have made it a Pokemon. They just made it high HP and shitty stats. And weak. <laughs> 20 base speed. Stealer, though. Like, Stealer <clears throat> is a really, really cool Ultra Beast because of the whole backstory behind that. It Even looks like a it an looks... alien type of thing going on, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I watched Noggin. They have that thing about being the lady on the moon that came down to Earth and then goes back to the moon or some shit like that. I don't even know what the <clears> hell you're <throat> talking about. I forgot about that one, too. Bless it. Uh, I don't care for its design, either. Oh, so it steals the spaceship. But yeah, um, it looks ridiculous. I <laughs> killed I killed many of Celestia with Mega Charizard X. That's all I gotta say. Oh, I mean obviously, <clears throat> it's called there's a type advantage. <laughs> yeah, and stack attacker too. That's a fucking abomination. I forgot about that one too. <laughs> it looks stupid, but it makes stack sense. Attack stack attacker is the god. Stack attacker is a literal fucking Lego. It's it's, <laughs> it's stupid, no, it's dude. it's literally broken this gen because it gets body press. Oh, it does? Bro, Crip Walk. Yes. I did not. I never see it. Trick Room, Gyro Ball, Body Press. That's all it needs. Yeah. It was already pretty good in Trick Room. Yeah. It sets it up yeah. itself, too. I it with the weakness policy, too, on, in VGC. Oh, fuck you, David. <laughs> I love Stack Attack, dude. That's gotten me so many 6 O's this gen. I know. I'm just fucking with you. Three drafts. That sounds not bad, actually. You that, literally can just hit Trick Room, get weakness <clears throat> policy, and then just sweep with everything and boost your attack. It's insane. Well, our episode about stack attacker. <laughs> right? Basically. <laughs> but, um, y'all got any more fun facts about Charizard, though? No. Number no? six. It's number six in the decks. <laughs> it's a fire flying type. You know, they uh, did admit that in one of the games that it was still a dragon, even though it doesn't have the dragon typing. Did you know that did it was the that? very first Pokemon shown in the Japanese anime? Really? Yes, the very first one that was seen in the Japanese anime was Charizard. I thought it was the Gengar Nidoran bullshit. Nope, that's that's the uh, first one. You Actually, that's not... I, mean, I don't know, I just Googled it. This is what it's saying. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's it says in the English anime it says it's Mewtwo so I don't know what the fuck it's talking about but yeah. oh wait yeah because the because of the the intro that's what you see da -na -na, and that Mewtwo's flying across the sky yeah oh yeah oh yeah, yeah it's it, it, it's Mewtwo and then Mew and then shows other Pokemon well in the well, Japanese Charizard version also... apparently it's Zard wow that's Charizard odd also... it makes sense. The, uh... It's the most valuable Pokemon card and most sought after. Um, everyone that gets them, like you can literally get a brand new Charizard from the newer generation and stuff like that, and they still sell for two hundred and fifty dollars or more. Oh yeah, for what sure. What the I mean, I collect, fuck? I yeah, dude, I collect card. I still collect the cards, but like this, there's been anything with a Charizard in it is like scalp worthy. There will be people who don't even collect cards who will buy them, and like the one he's talking about now, there's a like there's a set that just came out and it's there's a rainbow rare charizard in it that goes for like 300 bucks raw that's before you even grade it so charizard's like still a gold mine in be in thcg <clears throat> and pretty much always will be y'all want y'all want to know a fun it's fact y'all won't find on google what's that charizard and mewtwo are the only pokemon i have tattooed on my body oh wow yeah, I didn't yeah. know. wait where do you have mewtwo tattooed on my forearm. I've not seen that one, I don't think. I thought I shared it. No, I definitely saw the Charizard. That one was <clears> a while back, but I didn't see the Mewtwo. I got the Mewtwo after the Charizard. Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely haven't seen it. You'll have to send a picture of that. I haven't seen it. I definitely will. And um, mm -hmm. here, here's, some, here's a fun little thing uh, that Red and Blue Dex Entry said about Charizard. It says, um, it spits fire that is hot enough to melt boulders. Known to cause forest fires unintentionally. So it should not be weak to rock type, is what Red and Blue is saying. Damn, you just cracked a case. That's kind of fun. Uh, I don't know about all that. How do, you, how do you melt a boulder? Exactly. 
that that's well, fucking no, hot. You know what? That's that's what lava is. Well, it's molten rock. Well, so. well, exactly. So I mean, it should be super effective against rock. Charizard only. Dude, so it should just have one move. It's <laughs> like a signature Charizard move. It doesn't have a signature move. You ever notice that? Yeah, watch. Right. Net, net, gen, gen 9, they're going to give it a signature burn. move. Well, Blast, Blast Burn, any starter, starter can get it. Starter. Yeah. It's not even a signature move. I mean, if it just if it had, like, like what would you even call a move from Charizard? Oh, no, I or, could think or, of or something. Super effective on Rock. Uh... Mol- I don't know. Molten Blast? Crack Rock. <laughs> <laughs> crack Rock? That has two meanings. Yeah. I mean, you smoke crack, <laughs> right? I don't, but you I can. Mean, we don't, but people do it. I know they do. <laughs> you live in the state that you talk about does the most. Yeah, Tennessee. Yeah, come on, there's there's other states. There's like West Virginia and fucking uh, states like that. Kentucky. Come but on. but you you saying Tennessee does it the most? No, we don't smoke the most crack. We smoke. We're like, I don't smoke crack. Though. Come on, come on. I don't smoke crack. You sound pretty defensive for come someone on. who doesn't smoke crack. Okay, I've, I've, I've dabbled in crack. I've d- done some- <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've never smoked crack. <laughs> if my mom's listening, I don't even smoke crack. <laughs> yeah. no. well, your, your mom's gonna ask you what happened to that episode about Charizard. Don't worry about it, mom. It, it didn't. Yeah. It, it didn't ever come out. I've never <laughs> smoked, smoked crack, <laughs> mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but maybe we should wrap it up now because uh, I gotta go to bed. All righty. <laughs> crack. <laughs> if you were gonna smoke crack, I feel like you wouldn't be going to bed. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta start my day. Yeah, he's gonna start his day. <clears throat> well, he can start his day after we talk about our teams and after we do the battle. But yeah, we'll... about to beat some ass. But now we are gonna go talk <laughs> about our teams. And now we're gonna talk about our teams, and we'll start with Stewart. All right, so Charizard, you know, great mind. Everyone loves a good Charizard, usually, unless they hate it. But, um, <laughs> I figured once we were doing Charizard, I'd start with Mega Charizard X. And then I was thinking, oh, what's Charizard weak to? Rock. So I was like, oh, I'm going to use a rock type. I was like, I want to use Terrakion. It sounds like fun. I'm like, oh, it's a bit slow, though. What can I do? I know. I'll scarf it. And then the only weakness of course to that is if someone brings sticky webs which you know i don't anticipate that but you never know what could happen and then i thought hey i need a water type it's a great water type i was like yeah they could use slow bro great great mind once again but uh no i'm gonna use my lot i haven't used my lot in ages um it can take multiple hits and you know maybe chuck in a toxic or two flip turn for some momentum and then I was like, well, you know, I'll round out my fire, water, grass team with uh, Rillaboom. I thought about Venusaur again, but I was like, nah, I used Venusaur last time. Don't want to use it again. So Rillaboom with uh, Life Orb, Grassy Glide, Knock Off, Brand Punch, U-Turn, once again, Momentum. Uh, and then I thought, well, I need a Steel type because I'm trying to always need a Steel type. And uh, I thought Magnezone would be nice. Nice addition to the team. And... Once again, uh, Bolt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, Hidden Power Ice, great. And to round off the team, Clefable, because can't go wrong with Wish Teleport Clefable. Oh, yeah. Mm. I should have, um, I was kind of tossed out between Unaware and Magic Guard. I brought Magic Guard in the end, so I hope that doesn't come back to bite me, but we shall see. Mm, yeah, we shall see. All right, we're going to go ahead and move to David. All right, I'm Kamikaze. So basically, they everyone told me to build around Charizard. So what I decided to do was build a team with a fire, water, grass core, and a fairy, dragon, steel core. So that I could pivot around defensively to make sure that I could at least take some hits and, you know, take damage without losing Pokemon immediately. So, 
Megan DeAnty is what I in, intended to use specifically to kill everyone else's Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it'll work. No, I, mean, Charizard. <laughs> I wonder if it'll work. But yeah, I think rock type niggas are OP against Charizard, to be honest. <laughs> I got a Raquinid for my sticky web user because I love sticky webs. A Raquinid is a comfort pick for me. Got Mega Dancy, comfort pick. I love it. It's fucking beautiful. Magic How can you not be music. comfortable with it? <laughs> <laughs> I sense a little salt in the future. Anyways. <laughs> I got Dragapult, which I had a sub, I have a sub Dragon Dance, Dragon Darts, and Phantom Force set on my Dragapult, which is very, very similar in OU. Um, right. Then I have Metagross as my basically pivot from Diancie or Araquanid for rock type or steel type attacks. And I got the Rock Polish with the Steelium V so that I can hit something like. Clefable really fucking hard. And then I have my favorite Pokemon, Rillaboom, or Rillagoon as it is formerly known. And it was choice banned so that it will fuck up anything that any it basically fucks up everything. Anyways, Charizard, the spiciest pick of this whole team, is belly drop <coughs> and substitute with the Salic Berry. So if I get sticky webs up I can pretty much sweep with it, and I figured with the Charizard episode, this was the perfect pick for me to use. That that is my team. <laughs> I think it's a shit team, and I definitely don't think it's gonna win. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> well, damn. All right, Morgan, let's see what you have. I'm just kidding. That was a great team, David. It'll probably it'll probably beat Joe pretty quick. All right. Um, <laughs> I brought a, this video is brought to you by Fuck You Morgan. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That's not who paid for this. That's not who paid for this. I paid for this. Yeah. Fuck you, Morgan. Right. Yeah, nobody's nobody's getting paid. We've made a total of twelve cents. Hey, I need my. I'm gonna need my two pennies, Joe. You're gonna need to PayPal me. That's yeah. I'm gonna need to get PayPal. All right. So I brought. I didn't. I wanted to bring a. Uh, What's the like, weight on two pennies to the New Zealand dollar? It's probably yeah. like it's probably like twenty cents. Yeah, twenty cents. Man, I like I like that marker. Yeah, yeah, I'll get. It probably is. It Isn't actually it is. Like Twelve bucks in New Zealand. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Is it not though? Isn't it though? It's like fifty cents. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then I've been drastically misled. It's twenty-five okay. cents here in Texas. Inflation at its finest, people. That's right. That's right. Capitalism. Okay. <laughs> As you were, sorry. <laughs> All right. So I brought. Uh, this is a Charizard Y team. Um, the team was focused around Charizard Y, <laughs> and it was meant to get him out on the field uh, under the sun and sweep. Um, I went max speed, max special attack and modest nature um second member of the team was sylveon uh choice specs it was meant to take care of any dragons that uh charizard y couldn't take care of uh third member was hitmon top which i went to bring <laughs> i've got the wrong spread on here so i wanted to bring a bulk out spread that i actually do not have on here so i can't even explain to you right now what that was going to be uh Milotic is the fourth member of my team competitive Milotic. um uh, what did I send it to you, these two? I had to build this team on the fly. Uh, it was Scald, Icy Beam, or Ice Beam, Icy Wind, and Protect. I went with 252 on the HP, 164 on the defense, and split it with 92 on the special defense so that it could take some hits. Um, Age of Slash, Weakness Policy. Uh, I went 252 HP, 252 special attack, and four defense. I usually go uh, physical on AG Slash, but um, I went special this time because I felt this team was lacking special attack uh, when I started building it. Um, and then I've got Garchomp as the last member of my team. It was going to be Life Orb, but then we decided that we could do uh, Z moves at the end, so I put <laughs> on a 
poison the poison Z crystal. Uh, went earthquake, rock slide, poison jab, and protect. Four HP, two fifty attack, and two fifty two speed. Uh, Garchomp's just there to hit fast and hard. So that is my team. Yeah, my Lolic sounds pretty scary with that move, icy beam. Yeah, icy beam. <laughs> icy beam. <laughs> icy beam. <laughs> icy beam. <laughs> that sounds busted. All right. it, it is busted. <laughs> well, last yeah. but definitely Gucci, least, uh, yeah, it's I my think. turn. Um, I went ahead and built around Charizard X, which is my favorite Pokemon, favorite Mega, favorite everything, because Charizard is my life. Um, Rest in peace, Megas. Yeah, I know. Hopefully, they'll uh-huh. come back eventually, but we'll see. But I do have a uh, Charizard with Charizard at X, Blaze ability. Um, it is Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Fire Punch. Uh, max attack, max speed with four defense. You know, just in case uh, physical attacking rock move comes at me. I could probably live it, well, but you never know. But just in case, my next Pokemon was Meowstic, which has Thunder Wave, Reflect, Light Screen, and Psy Shock. With 252 uh, HP, 128 defense, 128 special defense with Light Clay and Prankster. So I can make sure I get those defensive walls up for Charizard. Because, you know, those come in handy. And then, uh, you know, I have one attacking move just so it's not completely walled by uh, Taunt. Next, I have Gliscor um, uh, with Toxic or Poison Heal. Because... Bulky ground flying is pretty good to have. Uh, I don't think anyone would bring an ice type, so it, it might be good for my team. And then uh, it has defog to get rid of rocks on my side. And it has stealth rocks to make sure rocks stay up on the opponent's side. Uh, toxic to deal with walls and acrobatics, just you know, to have an attacking move in case they knock off toxic orb or something. And that one is uh, 252 attack, 252 speed, and 4 defense. Because there's no point in putting in special defense. Then I have Rillaboom to have a pure grass type. Because pure grass is probably the best type of grass Pokemon you can have on your team. Especially one that gets up grassy surge and has grassy slide. Paired with the life orb. Knock off, wow. body slam, and oh yeah, grassy glide. And U turn for pivot. <clears throat> but with the massive attack set, I went 252, 252 HP, 4 speed. Because uh, Rillaboom's not really a Pokemon I think I would use as a speedy mon. It's more of a tank attacking mon. And uh, <clears throat> of course, U turn is always a great move because pivoting is key in singles. Then I have a slow bro with leftovers regenerator. Uh, Iron Defense, Slack Off, Scald Psychic. Same build I brought the last time because uh, it's pretty much my uh, defensive wall against anything ground and rock. And then uh, I brought Zapdos. Oh, sorry. The the EV spread was 252 defense, 252 special attack, and 4 special defense. Just in case. It could live, it could live a Thunderbolt from something. And then uh, Zapdos, I put Electrum Z on at last minute because I had no item for it because Leftovers was taken. Um, ability Pressure with Ancient Power to hit another opposing Charizard just in case it came to that. Uh, Thunderbolt, Roost, Hurricane with 252 HP, 252 Special Attack, and 4 Defense. So that was my team. And now... Nice. <laughs> Beautiful team. And now we go on to battles. All right, and now that we've talked about our teams, we are here to do some battles. And I forgot to fucking randomize the challenges here, so I'm going to do that really quickly. Sorry, guys. Come on, Josh. I know. It won't so take long. Specifically, just to do so quick we can challenge. Find each other challenge. Challenge. Oh, okay. I gotcha. That makes sense. Now I'm caught up. Okay. 
So Morgan goes against Stewart. I go against David. <clears throat> oh, let's go. All right, y'all first then. Who? Stewart Who? and Morgan. Hold on, I'm giving my guys nicknames. One real quick. Hold on, hold on. Hold nicknames. On. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm getting giving them all nicknames real you, quick. You gotta get your name, nick, name, nick, nicknames. You gotta get your nicknames. All right, I'm done. Let's go. All right. Well, hopefully right, y'all you... y'all enjoyed uh, hearing what they had to say about their teams because now it's going into action. Are we on here? Are we going? Yes, it's in the challenge, and then I'm gonna watch. Uh, you send me the challenge, uh, Mr. Stewart, because I don't fucking know how. I like to watch. <laughs> so if I click on your name, am I able to click just right up? Start. Well, just just click his name and click challenge and then click uh uh national yeah. decks anything goes but anything does not go who's playing it's well, supposed to be <laughs> stew dog and you okay i'm playing I'm, stew dog i'm challenging you now all right let's go stew dog bring it F fat cat versus stew dog you see that Mm-hmm. Gotta get that fat kitty for you. You gotta get that cat dog. Team. I'll kill your team. I wanna, I wanna kill myself already. Wait, shit. Yeah. No, this isn't the right team. My bad. We gotta use it. This isn't the team. Oh, this fuck. is my team from last week. Oh, you chose our team. N no, okay. this is my my Venusaur team. Oh, sh yeah. come on, Morgan. Sorry, dude. How, how do I change it? <laughs> Just exit. You gotta it? exit out and send the challenge again. Okay. So okay. When I, when, before, when I you, be and before. And before. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Wait. What? So change the format to national decks, and then underneath it will say team, and then there's a list of your teams. Yeah. Then you pick your Charizard team. You fool. Okay. I I guess th I think it's done. All right. Yeah. There we go. Ah, I see. Okay. Your team was rejected for the following reasons. Boss Chingo. What the fuck happened? God damn it. What happened to my team? What did it say? Somehow I took away all their spreads. Oh, okay. Fuck. Well, you two play first. Me, you two play first. Yeah, me and David are going to play. Okay, so for those of you who are watching on YouTube, uh, y'all will see what happens. But those of y'all on Spotify, before it comes out on YouTube, um,. Stew Dog is going to announce this battle since I'm not battling. Since I am battling. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so, David, I am sending you a challenge now. Alrighty. You looked at me funny. Let's battle. Let's go. Alright. Hmm. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, shit. He got the Gen 8 power on his side. Oh, Dancy. All right. Jared leads off with his fly score. And we got Rillaboom coming out for David. What an interesting matchup. Grassy Glide with the priority there. Grass Hill will set up the South Rocks and its Toxical Poison Hill both there. Grassy Glide cleans up the glide score. There we go. 6 5. First blood, turn 2. Oh, boom, boom. Here we go. Oh, Spank Tank. Interesting name. <laughs> Spank <Philippine> Tank. <laughs> with the Grassy Glide. A U turn, sorry. Brings in Zapdos to face the Araquanid. Hmm. That's a bulky Rest bitch, ain't it? Oh, who goes the Electrium Z? And it demolishes the Araquanid. Gonski. In comes the Antsy. It's called Dizard. I get it. It's like Die Hard. But Charizard. <laughs> I get it. 
<laughs> dies hard. Dies hard. <laughs> I get it. Oh, Mega DNC. Oh, oh this is some bullshit. Here we go. It's like Mega Pitchyon from the first one. Joe getting in to taste his own medicine. Yeah, pretty much. Now sick male <clears throat> sitting there, talking about to Rillaboom. What's gonna happen here? Dancy hits the diamond storm. Ha Okay, well I lost. Forty nine percent. It's two defense. What do you have to here? Brassy Glide? Whoa! Damn. No. Was that a crit? Well no it wasn't. Holy fuck. That's a that's a say, terrain boosted weak ass Brassy Glide. Are you banned though? Like, no, that wasn't. That that was a uh, life orb. Terrain boost. Terrain boosted. Oh, okay. Oh, Zephos goes down to a diamond storm. Now it comes back in. What's it gonna do here? Light screen. Oh, interesting play. Setting up for the old Charizard sweep here. I just want you to know Diamond Storm is physical. <laughs> really? It's physical? It is. It hits like physical, it. but it's special. No. <laughs> that doesn't make no sense. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> Side goes down and one hit the Diamond Storm. And Slowbro comes in, the last remaining member. Well, fuck you, David. Charizard. <laughs> Fuck you hard. No, Charizard dude. I, I love that I love you lost. I love that you lost, Jim. Oh, Slowbro takes down the DNC. Well, that was unexpected. I would have done that sooner if I knew that was going to happen. Slowbro with a mighty sword. It doesn't matter what you want. Rilla Boom Boom. GG. Finish well, all over. That sucked. But all right. Taste of my own <laughs> medicine, yeah. And saved here with the uh, 4 0 victory. Easy. That Oonga Boonga shit right there. Oonga Boonga, bitch. God damn it, Joe. <laughs> Fuck you, Joe. Why are you such a hater, just... Morgan? <laughs> because I hate your Mega Pidgeot and it pissed me off last time. I'm so <clears throat> salty about it. Well, get you over ready, it. Morgan? Yeah, I'm ready. My, yeah, I'm ready, I think. Go, go for it. Right. I hope you fucking win, Enjoy. Stuart. Oh, I, I'm is. going to Joe, lose, Joe. Is that the same team? He's, he's seen my team now, so... Oh, dang it. I can't name my, my fucking... Uh, my, I can't name my Garchomp Pussy Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that is so stupid. What the fuck? That's so stupid. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it is a child's game, Morgan. We're on showdown. Yeah, still. Dude, eat ass. Don't talk to me. All right, go. Okay. Here I we don't. Go. I don't do go. that. All right, we're good to go. We got a legal team, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, All right. Oh, All right. These comfort picks. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lead with. I'm not saying it out loud yet. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, this ain't that battle. <laughs> I'm the one Wait, who commentates. Happened? Oh, do I not? You don't want me to say anything? All right. No, all right. you, you can talk shit if you want to. But all right. All right. Uh, boom, boom. Tyrone Tatum's. Tyrone Tatum's on the field. Morgan leads out the Hitmon top, and Stewart goes ahead and leads off the Rillaboom. Gets the fake out oh, off yeah. on the Rillaboom, and Rillaboom flinches. That's just, that's just rough. God damn it, this has the wrong fucking moveset. This is bullshit. Right off the bat. You built it, sir. I'm tr I am I had to go real fast, Joe, because something happened. Because I was being <laughs> being rushed. All right. So Rillaboom goes for the U-turn here. This isn't what I want. This isn't what I want. <clears throat> Uh-oh. It looks like the Clefable Sweep is coming out. Oh, shit. 
I can see it now. Calm mind stored power. Or cosmic power stored power. All he needs is life orb and or a power orb meteor beam and flamethrower. He he stealth rocked me. Oh, Jesus. There you go. Playing stealth rocks game. goes off by the Clefable. Age of Slash comes out. Jon Snow is prepared for winter. Milotic comes out, though. And Age of Slash goes for the Flash Cannon, which does hardly anything, but does get the special defense drop. Oh, and it is burned due to its flame orb. No one asked you, David. Hey, man. Hey, let him give his fucking opinion, you piece of shit. All right, so yeah, Seductive Serpent, Milotic from Morgan comes out, and... Stuart does a flip turn. How come I can be Seductive Serpent, but I can't be Pussy Dragon? <laughs> because Pussy's you know, a little bit on the nose. Double standards, I think. And Stuart actually comes out with the Magna Zone. So it's Magna Zone oh, versus Milotic. Oh, oh Garchop man. comes out. Volt Switch does fuck. not work. Oh, what did you do this to me for? Hey. I didn't do anything. Now dude. Stewart's gonna switch to the Charizard, predicting this earthquake. I'm not gonna earthquake. Hey, earthquake hey, Joe, why are you such a piece of shit, Joe? I'm just joking. <laughs> but it, hey, it's what I would have done. And Stewart's smarter, obviously, because Morgan I went for the rock be, slide. I'm gonna be really mean to you this whole episode. It's okay. Everybody I'm okay just... with that. I... Damn, Acid oh. downpour. <laughs> it didn't kill it. But oh. Stewart does not go for an attacking move. He actually goes for teleport. That's all right, though. That's all right. He got a lot of damage off on that Clefable Morgan did. His name is Bubs. <laughs> That's a her, actually. Thank you. Oh, that. sorry. Sure. Her name yeah. is Bubs. 2021, buddy. All right, he's boom. Talking at, he's talking about her tits. <laughs> all right, Boom Boom comes back out. So Rilla Boom is going face off against a <laughs> shark. And he goes for protect, but Grassy Slide comes off and does not hit because of the protect. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here. And Tampa oh. Bay beat Washington in the playoffs, 31 to 23. Time out, guys. Time out. Just give it a time out here. Hold on. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, he better not be calking. I'm not calking. Dude, not I fucked. I fucked up. I'm not calking. I don't even, literally, I don't even know how to calc, and I never do it. So, <laughs> fucking, I don't do it. You don't have to worry about that from me. All right, now Stuart goes ahead and gets the U-turn off as Morgan switches in the Hitmontop. Switches into useless Tyrone Tittums, who doesn't have the right moveset. God damn it, Tittums. He's got the daddy factor, though. Look at that V-neck. Yeah, he does. He's got on the gray sweatpants and the dick be swinging, my man. <laughs> That's All right, Charizard out. comes out for Stewart. Yeah, that's why he's swinging that bitch back and forth. <laughs> he just got home and he wants dinner. <laughs> what the fuck? The difference between a Morgan battle versus uh, me and David battle. We were pretty damn quiet. It's because I was beating your ass the whole time. I know. You were too yeah. focused. You were way focused. You were try hard. Hey, got All right. Fake out goes Look off against him. the Mega Charizard X. And now let's Look at see the how this goes. Blue color. You got a triple X with me? Just do it. Just no, do it. I don't have that on here because, you know, oh. I brought the wrong moveset. So. Did you have that you before? Didn't no, you I didn't. Like oh, okay. didn't I don't have it. <laughs> Listen, I'm an honest guy. I'm an honest guy. I'm all about honesty. Oh, no, you got um, Stone Age or something, don't you? I need that. Oh, Sylveon comes out and Charizard's oh, no. dragon dancing. Oh, no. He's he... going to he's gonna shit on me. You should have seen that coming. Fuck. 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 Sylveon right. is a bulky oh, bitch, on, though. Jeremy. Come on, Jeremy. Ooh, and Flare oh. Blitz takes out the Sylveon, but does significant damage to Charizard. We're calling it Sylveon. His name is Jeremy. All right, well, Jeremy. Yeah, what, what kind of name is that? I don't know. <laughs> people, <laughs> people on Spotify doesn't know that, though, so I got to call it by what it is. 
All right, Seductive Serpent mileage comes out. Seductive Serpent is scary. That sounds scary, doesn't it? It just sounds it like a scary. Con. Sounds sus. <laughs> and here comes it the Thunder like Punch. Somebody's about to get sucked up. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. All the way from it's, head it to tail. On how lonely you are, I guess, really. I mean, normally it's a good thing, I'd say. Yeah. I wouldn't I mean, argue with it. Say it's a good thing. Oh, he switched out. Now we're uh, pandering to the furry community. All right, so he switches oh. out to Milotic as well. So it's uh, Milotic versus Milotic. So it's Persephone versus Seductive Serpent, which is really the same thing. Mine's shiny, yeah. so it's better, obviously. Yeah. 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 Mine's a normal color because... Yeah, Stewart's has a baby daddy, so it's classier. I don't know what to do gold. here. <laughs> I don't know gold what to member. do here. Should have named it Gold Member, dude. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Flip turn. Well, <clears throat> you normally are, uh, you're supposed to win. Me? Yeah, dude. Nah, no, he's dude. trash. <laughs> Not this guy. <laughs> this guy don't win no more. I don't win anymore, man. I, I just play for fun. and it's, It dude, shows. I, it's, it's fun, fun dude. Fun. <laughs> It's it's not any fun. It's getting to be not fun. All right. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit like to be honest, I probably wouldn't have bought um uh Melodic if I knew you were so that's my bad for it, but we'll live. It's okay. <laughs> they look good together. So uh Morgan's Milotic protected as Stuart went for Toxic and then he switched out to Jon Snow, which is Age of Slash, and now Stuart has flipped turned, predicting I'm assuming. Man, you had Agi Slash on your team and you didn't name it Agi Smash. What, what's wrong with you? <laughs> That's a better name. I'll I'll do that in the future. I I like to Jon Snow, but Agi Smash used to be my showdown name for like ever. Agi Smash. I like the Viking Shields. That's kind of sick. I like it. I have a logo drawn up called the Viking Shields. Oh, I've seen it with the purple and yellow. Yeah, I've seen that. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I almost picked it, but, you know, Rilligoon goes Burt. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Burt? Oh, uh, yes, protected the King's Shield. Ah, Beautiful. fuck. Beautiful. Not Stuart like protects that. the King Shield, goes for a Dragon Dance instead of attacking the Age of Slash. That's called Fook. Fook. It's cool to talk to your battle right there. All right, Milotic comes back out, but it's going to take unnecessary damage, oh. so Stuart gets the advantage here. No. And I take a no. sip of my drink. Uh, we're in trouble. I'm not going to lie, though. I feel like my team's going to struggle against uh, two dogs. I really uh, hope so. <laughs> I, I hope Stu gets a win. Stu needs a win since he was cheated out of it last time against that Mega Pidgeot team during our Venusaur episode. Oh, everybody's going to be quiet after that. It's, oh, it's Dragon that Claw like, goes down for the Milotic. Ignore Joe's an asshole. Hey, I, I got my payback already. Suck a dick. Oh my god, I didn't even mean to click that. Fucking misclick. God All damn right. it. Well, Spyro comes out because Morgan's a dumbass. And... No, I'm not a dumbass. I got big thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's a Charizard v. Charizard. I'm not a dumbass. I'm not a dumbass. Ooh, and it's Charizard Y versus Charizard X, and Charizard X obviously gets the kill after that Dragon Damn, Dance. Damn, you gonna take a 6 0? Yeah, looks like it. Don't, uh, hey, hey, don't, don't be mean to me about it. Help me, okay? Help <laughs> me. <laughs> Fucking show me the ways of not, <laughs> not losing. I need to go to Pokemon Rehab and learn how to play again. Something fucking happened. All right. Uh, Morgan, uh, you draft the same team every season. That's what happened. Hey, hey, I, ch I, picked, I picked a different team this season. Yeah, that's good. People are actually scared of your team this season. Are they? Yeah, Jesse said so. Who's Jesse? <clears throat> he oh, beat yeah. me. Jesse. I forgot. I keep forgetting who he is. He babysits those rich kids' kids. What? He babysits. What he babysits the rich people's kids. 
Is that his job? No, it's a joke. Oh, I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, the Disney <laughs> Channel show. <laughs> hey, Jesse. Okay. I've yeah. never seen that in my life. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Uh, well, look it up. You, you'll see. It's de- it has Debbie Ryan in it. But anyways, uh, Rillaboom yeah, comes out on the field against uh, Hitmontop. Ooh, takes a close combat so hard? because you hit pretty hard, I guess. Uh, close combat's a close combat, sir. It's going to hit hard Tyrone no matter what. Tidums. We got to run. We got to run, Tidums. Oh, I didn't kill him. That's annoying. <clears throat> we didn't get 6 0'd. We didn't get 6 0'd. Thank you, David. If All it right. wasn't for you, I, w- I would have got 6 0'd. <clears throat> well, Hitmontop takes down Thank the Rillaboom. Man. I'm surprised Stuart took the Charizard out, honestly. I, I would have just fucking went for it right then. Oh, I wanted to give him a challenge. To be fair. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. we need on, some content man. here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I got pity. I got pity sexed just now. God oh, didn't need to predict the switch. Dragon Claw takes out the Garchomp. All right. I thought he was on Aegis Slash, but it doesn't matter. Let's be honest. That's that's GG's for sure. It's over. Yeah, your last sweep right, is so gone. Yeah. All right. All right, Morgan does not decide to go King Shield, and Flare Blitz takes out the Age of Slash, and I'm pretty sure Charizard's going to take out Tyrone Tittums after a fake out. Is he going to bother faking me out? Like, let's be honest here. There's not, but, you know, it makes him feel better. (laughs) 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 He's going to click it again. Watch. Uh, You should have clicked it again. again. You should have. It wouldn't have done nothing, but it would have been funny. It, All right. it could have been fake. <clears throat> well, Stew Dog wins mm-hmm. that one. <laughs> All right. It was longer than your match, Joe. Well, yeah, because he gave you a chance. Fuck you. Fuck you. That was three turns ago. Eat my whole ass, Fucking Joe. Kamikaze <laughs> kicked my ass. No, no more. <laughs> he was like, I'm not even going to give him a chance. I'm not going to let him breathe. Fucking Mega DNC right. calm mine. All right. <clears throat> Who's <clears throat> playing next? It's Stew Dog versus Kamikaze. Oh, yeah, Stew Dog. Stew Dog versus uh, David. Are you challenging David or sorry? David fell asleep over there. I'll challenge him. It's not all good. You there, David? David? He he can't hear you, but I can hear you both. Yeah, so, I can hear you both. Uh, David, probably hang up and then jump back on real quick. Yeah, that that'll do it. <clears throat> Alright, we're in we're in, we're in our battle. Alright. How am I gonna beat a big of the NC? I don't even know. Uh with that <laughs> fucking ter- with that goddamn with that scarf Taraki on you got. Of course. Can you hear him? can you hear David now? David. Can, can you can you hear me now? Yes, sir. I can okay, there we go. Sponsored by Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not sponsored by anybody. Damn, you're going to get our fucking episode removed. <clears throat> Verizon's going to come at us hard now. <laughs> Fuck. Verizon. Verizon, I, I actually, I am a customer, so please don't fucking terminate me. <laughs> I'm a Spectrum customer because fuck Verizon. Sponsored Spectrum. by Alcohol. What happened this time is he bought, he bought Mega Metagolf this time, and I'm going to get annihilated. That's what's going to happen. Wait, did he change his team? No, he That's can't do guy. that. Can't do that. No, I mean, no. Damn. I didn't change nothing. <laughs> David's, was, David's team is scary. Awesome. David's just like, fuck y'all. I'm going to do what I want. I didn't see I'm David's win, team because I was building my team while David was playing last, but David's team's pretty tough looking. Yeah. That's why I lost so quickly. Because he built a better team? He built a better team in 10 minutes? Yeah, if I would have put Mega Deancey on my team, I'm sure he yeah. would have struggled. Is, is, uh, why, you see, you see, you just make excuses for the fact that David is a superior player. It's okay. <laughs> you lost. That's it's alright. <laughs> it's okay. He doesn't think I'm God tier like Ray. He thinks Ray's better than me. No, Ray relies yeah. on legends and. I can't fucking stand that dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't stand him. Ray's good, but only because he uses four legends at a time. 
He's good, but he's such a <clears throat> cock. Last week, Joe Joe brings a flying mega against grass types, and now bringing a rock mega against fire types. It makes sense, you know. Listen, good. like I said, I should have brought I should have brought uh, Mega Aerodactyl. He knew the game. He knew David knew what Joe the shenanigans Joe had been pulling. Oh, so sorry. He beat uh, him to the punch. I haven't been talking about the battle, but right now, mm-hmm. Araquanid's in front of Magnazone. No Pokemon's taking damage. Oh, and oh, Magnazone right. gives off a Gigavolt Havoc versus Araquanid, but it hangs on and retaliates with the liquidation. Araquanid's nickname is Spank Tank. That is an important note because it is. it's in a water tank. <laughs> But at sacrificial. All right, but a rack when it goes down. Sacrificial. I'm not, I'm not happy about this uh, sticky web here. It's not, it's not a good sign. U, uh, <laughs> UFO Magnazone switches out to the Volt Switch, and Rillaboom comes out. But he does mistake. have That's sticky okay. webs okay. Cool. on the field. All right, get dunked. The Charizard comes out for David, and he's going to Mega Evolve on the Switch. Which meager is it? Oh, oh no, he man. substitutes. Oh nice, that's that's real 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 good. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Stewart is pleased. <laughs> I'm so pleased when he he's Zard Y and he's Solar Beams me right now. Is that, is that what's gonna happen right now? I think it is. <laughs> oh, he belly drummed. It's a belly drum Charizard. He can't Mega because uh, oh, she already yeah. has Mega Deancey, but. Uh, flip turn does I not take the that. sub out. Um, Charizard oh, wow. gets its berry, a uh, select berry, I believe, for speed boost. So it's plus one speed, uh, plus six attack, and looking to sweep. And Stewart made a mistake, but he brought Taraki on it. I did make a mistake. I don't know why I thought that broke the sub when it didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I yelled it out loud. <laughs> I know you did. I know you did. David's like, shut the fuck up, Joe. I'm trying to win here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the new guy. I got to win or else I don't have any respect. You know what I'm saying? You put respect on my name. All right. The plus six earthquake <laughs> takes down the Terrakion. Tick tock. All right. Persephone, the Mylotic comes out. Sticky webs activates. It is burned. It lives! Oh. It lives a plus six, and the flip turn Ooh. finally breaks the sub. Not that it matters. It might matter. Mm. Just depends on what you do here. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> well, even then, who knows? But we'll see. Oh, there's a chance to kill with. Grassy Glide, do I take it? Oh, he, I to, he, you take it. He calc'd. You take it. I had to calc that one. <laughs> I, had to calc that one. I know, I know. It's fine. This man going ham on me right now. Hey, uh, you're the one who brought Belly Drum Charizard. <laughs> hey, but I'm not calcing shit. Oh, and it what? survives the grassy slide on 2%. Ooh. Fire Punch takes out the Rillaboom. And that's Ooh. the last of uh, Stewart's priority users. Clefable better be unaware or it's going to be dead. It's going to be. Oh, and it wasn't. Down oh, goes the Clefable. Is he going to sweep? It is a sweep. This is exactly what Dusty did to me in the last drop. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, it oh, hangs no. on. Persephone no. hangs on by the earthquake, and Charizard oh, goes down. That was, that was so stupid. Wow. Oh. Charizard does not get the sweep it deserves. He's got big thumbs, too. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take 4 right, to be honest. That grassy, that grassy terrain saved your life. All right. Well, Dizard comes in and Earth powers the Magnazone, which is obviously no chance of that surviving. Now Charizard comes in against Dizard. Let's see how this goes, Deancey. I'm speaking like Yoda. 
<laughs> Can Stewart pull something out of his ass, or is it over for him? Yeah, Dizard's a little spiteful, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I, I feel I feel what y'all felt last week. Well, considering yeah. the Boonga oh. is my favorite, so obviously I'm not a fan of Zard. <laughs> I mean, I hit the ground, then I slow down, right? That's how it works. Um, oh, well, I've got to do this. No, you don't. Ready. You don't. You don't. Yeah, no, I did. I did. You didn't slow down. You just out, got oh, out sped. Slow, slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay. Sweet and is. Mega Deancey takes the cake. House overrated. All right, David. Well, uh, what Pokemon in Gen 1 do you want to build yes. around? Do you want to build around next week? Huh. Gen 1. Any Pokemon in Gen 1. Doesn't have to be Blastoise. It's gotta be a fully evolved or it's gotta be competitively viable. I mean, po I kind of figured. Yeah, you can't, well... It's, it's, it has to be fully serious. evolved. Let me think here. I mean, <clears throat> what, what, what's already been done? Charizard, Charizard and Venusaur. Charizard. It makes sense to say Blastoise, but I feel like I shouldn't. <laughs> Fuck that. Don't do Blastoise. It's completely up to you. Random. No one likes Blastoise cool. anyway. Gengar. Gengar. Fuck All right. Yeah, that's cool. All so right. next week, we will build around Gengar. That's the new rule, apparently. Because that's what I followed. And the new guy didn't get the memo. But it's okay. What do you mean? What do you mean he didn't get the memo? Last week you said we had to build around the Pokemon we were talking about. I was like, all right, fine, we'll do that. And then he built around Mega Deancey. Everybody take note that Joe makes excuses when he loses. I really do. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hey, Amen. Around... Listen, 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 just real quick. I built around Charizard, okay? He did great. He did. You did great, he Joe. Did. <laughs> to the web was specifically for Belly Drum, okay? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he almost slept with Belly Drum Charizard. You guys if need to leave him alone. Punch, I mean, I mean, if you're gonna sweep with Charizard, you gotta sweep with Belly Drum to start. You, David, don't even listen to them, man. Don't let them get you down. <laughs> you want, Joe, Joe is just making excuses. Fuck Joe. Everybody, give give David a round of applause. Stop. All right, it's just me. Stop. Right, stop crowd, stop jacking crowd. off. <laughs> I'm not jacking off, dude. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, what? I'm not jacking off. You're the one jacking off. I'm not coming on anything, dude. <laughs> That's what Stop. Come on, dude. Stuff. Yeah, you should. I'm not c coming on, dude. Stop. All right. Well. <laughs> You're not there you go. <laughs> That's good. I would hope not. <laughs> All right. I'm All right, gonna put it in my. I put it away now. Well, guys, <laughs> that's it for this episode. Uh, we'll see you guys next week when we. Use Gengar on our team. Fuck yeah, Gengar. Gengar go brrr.